Okay, Kit. So, Kit, uh, it's a fairly long question, okay? But let's listen. I have a 16-year-old son who got introduced to weights over the last year and a half through some high school and local gym workouts. Good, good. Unfortunately, his high school doesn't have any kind of formal strength program in place. I'm sure he's getting some benefit, but the workout feels very random and hodgepodge together. It's been a series of some workout of the day sessions that have taught him some technique, but there's no testing or adaptive program to follow. He's ready for more. So on to my question. You know, I, you know, of course I was a strength coach at high schools for a long time. And I gotta tell you, sometimes you do feel like uh, you're just do, doing your best. So hats off to all of our high school strength and conditioning coaches, because, you know, my athletes would get pulled out of my strength class because, you know, the counselor would say, well, it's not very important. And I kept thinking, well, yeah, but this kid wants to, this kid wants to go to school as an athlete, you know, go get a scholarship as an athlete. This class is as important as any. Or, you know, what I mean, they constantly found reasons to, you know, really, you know, interrupt uh, our strength courses. It's tough to do. And then also, too, there's just not a lot of good information. And a lot of kids will take, a lot of students will sign up for strength and conditioning courses, whatever you call it, your school, just because they, they want an hour to screw around that doesn't have tests, which is why I test it all the time. And that's why we had such high standards. You know, after I had students tell me that the standards in my class were higher than, you know, just about anything besides like physics and math. And I was very proud of that. You know, we expected a lot and got a lot because of that. It was a bit of a riff. Let's get to your question. I came across a 2007 article of yours when you outline a teen workout calling for the Southwood program for three weeks followed by the big five. Since the article is dated, I'm curious if today, if you had any new thoughts or changes or enhancements to the program, or do you love it today just as you did then? The big five, if I'm reading it correctly, calls for 25 reps each of, of each exercise. I listen to you frequently say that you like five by two and three by three by three format. So I'm curious if any modifications should be made. I'm 49 years old and plan on doing the workout with him. So if five by five is a bad idea for my age. Please let me know what to do. Well, I mean, that's, that's a tough question. I'm going to answer the question about your son. So basically, and, and I was very lucky in the ninth grade, I went to Southwood junior high, the Southwood program. And we did a program of power clean, military, front squat, and bench press. But we also ran two laps before that, did an obstacle course, did a lot of calisthenics. And um, it was a good program. Uh, they would set out, well, I mean, my memory it, it might not be perfect, but let's say they set out 15 bars, okay? And the weights went from, you know, it's ninth grade program, so say 25 pounds to... 100 pounds and five pound jumps okay nothing huge so if i was at one bar uh it would be me and my cohort so that be four. there was four of us per bar which was great actually we would i would do eight power cleans you know b would do eight power cleans c would do eight power cleans d would do eight, do eight power cleans i do six 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 four 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 we're done then we clean it and do eight presses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. B, eight, C, eight, D, eight, six, four, three. Then we do front squats and then we do bench press. Now this is why I like the program. On the bench press, we didn't have, it was just a bench. There was no, there was no racks. So one person would pick the weight up. The other two people were your side spotters. And this is where I learned that you don't mess around. Uh, you don't, I mean, it was Southwood. I mean, we'd have kids who screwed around. In fact, I'm thinking of one person who um, always screwed around in the weight room and was always getting corrected. And he, I mean, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> this isn't correlation or causation, but you know, he ended up having a terrible life. And I, and I can remember thinking when I was, you know, kind of younger, like, yeah, no discipline in the weight room. I, I don't know if that's true, but you know, because life will kick you in the face. Now, here's what happened. If you did all 18 reps and all the four exercises, you moved up to the next weight the next time. So 
it was pretty simple and people were switching groups constantly. Uh, I kept striving to be on this, you know, the heaviest weighted group. And we just kept doing that constantly, kept trying to go higher, you know, up higher and higher and higher. And it's, you know, there's nothing fancy about the program. When I used it in the high school setting with my ninth graders and sophomores, um, very quickly I realized after about three weeks, you pretty much tap the program out. So what, what I did then, the first go around, is I added the deadlift. So we kept power clean, military, front squat, bench press, deadlift. And then I began to pick up that we needed to be able to test this somehow. And I tested things. Um, so, oh, by the way, with the deadlift, there was now five exercises, still eight, six, four. Um, we needed a way to test if they were getting stronger. So we slid over to the workout you're talking about, the big five. And that'd be five sets of five, all those lifts. So uh, that's a hard workout. Power clean, military, front squat, bench press, deadlift. That, that's, that's, that's a lot of work. And then every other Wednesday, we did five, three, two. So a set of five with your working weight, a set of three heavier. And, we had a, and the only rule we had was you had to make the double. And I would, I would write down what the athlete did on the double, and I could see very quickly where the progress was coming. In fact, it was, you know, some of the kids, you know, had some bar fears. They wouldn't want to pull those big weights. And I understand that. And then other kids would uh, get a single and, you know, you know, strut around the gym. And, you know, <laughs> I said two, and I said two. And so a lot of people, you know, we used to call the way, a phrase used to be fuzzy logic. A lot of people would fuzzy logic their maxes. I make the joke all the time about, you know, the strongest person in, in a high school weight room is this person who spots the bench press, you know, because they're deadlifting the weight off the chest all the time. Uh, and then the, the person benching is counting that as their max. So, yeah, I would still say for the adolescent athlete, um, the 864 sh sliding over in the 5x5 five five, and then reasonably backing the weights off uh, uh, pardon me, the reps and sets off over time is a good idea. So you can do the 864 program for a while, the five sets of five with that 532 day mixed in. But then pretty soon you're going to have to run yourself into more, a more traditional program. Where we ended up, um, I'll just give you an example how I would work it. Uh, week one would be like three sets of three. Uh, week two might be five sets of three. So more volume, more volume, uh, maybe maybe more load for some, but more volume. And then you'd flip that in week three, three sets of five. And then, of course, more volume, five sets of five. You could probably do that for two rounds with a high school athlete. And then from there, you might want to get yourself on a more, um, a, a program that is going to push the, the bigger numbers, um, honestly. Three sets of three is, is just fine. Now, as for you, uh, with your age and everything, 49, yeah, I, I think a program like that would be fine, but you're going to probably need a little bit more hypertrophy work, hypertrophy reps. Um, so, you know, you could do the same. You could learn the lifts for two weeks, uh, the do the South program for two weeks, and then slide yourself into that three sets of three, five sets of three, three sets of five, five sets of five thing for a bit, and then jump up to the, like, uh, week one being three sets of eight, uh, week two, this would be interesting, if you could, if you got the time, eight sets of three, that's it, right? five sets of five the third week, and then maybe five sets of 10 in week four to really get the volume up and get some hypertrophy work in. Um, yeah, I still stand by the program. I've always thought it was very good. Uh, I come back to it constantly because it works so well. And um, I would say, I don't know, Mr. Sinclair and Mr. Freeman, I don't know if they're still on the planet, but I mean, I've ta taught a lot of people this program and the benefits uh, from those two have been, have been a long time. And I really appreciate what they did for us. That was a good program and very, very, very valuable. Thank you. Uh, and good luck. And good luck. Let me know how it goes.